Amidst the struggle for a drop of relief, the authorities say they remain steadfast in the mission to tackle Negril and the wider western region's water crisis. Here's Ronaldo Adams with more. Negril is parched. It's residents and businesses thirsting for relief as the water crisis hits hard, exacerbated by the relentless drought. In the heat of the frustration, the minister responsible for water, Senator Matthew Samuda, acknowledges the agony felt by the local stakeholders, but affirms that the government is pumping investments into the western region to alleviate some of the pressure. Each member of parliament in western Jamaica by way of Hanover and Westmoreland has $4 million at their disposal to direct trucking. We have also made available to citizens to the parish councils um, seven and a half million dollars to Hanover and five million dollars to Westmoreland as well. We would have made some 30 million dollars available to the Water Commission at the end of February. He also promises a flood of investments to overhaul the region's infrastructure. As well as a line pretty much from Rossi's into Negril. We expect this pipeline replacement work to start this calendar year. We will invest some 70 million US dollars in these pipelines to replace these. Now that will deal with two issues that we currently have. One, the fact that these pipelines leak profusely. The other one, the other issue that it will resolve is the fact that the line from our seas into Negril now is simply too small. Meanwhile, acting president of the National Water Commission, NWC, Kevin Carr, reveals plans for long-term measures to tackle the water deficit. We spoke about it decades ago, which is the construct a new water treatment plant in Rhone River, Westmoreland. We are already advanced in our procurement activity to, to conduct an island-wide non-revenue water reduction project. This means we will address the efficiencies of the NWC to minimize leaks. So in period of drought, we have additional capacity to meet your needs. Principal Director of the Meteorological Service of Jamaica, Evan Thompson, says residents should expect an extended dry period. As we move into May and into June, we do expect an increase in rainfall. And there on this chart, we see that the, the western end of the island is likely to remain brown for a little bit longer than the rest of the country because of the climate patterns that are expected to be developing. We do expect that we will see the change occurring in the central and eastern parishes a bit before we start to see it in the west. Reynaldo Adams, CVM News.